Welcome to my channel. Hey, I want your friend. Long cranking Honda Civic 2001. Don't get fooled by the gas gauge. Even though this gas gauge is showing that we have three quarter of gas, this is actually line. And you will see why at the end of the video. But yeah, what we have in here is a bad fuel pump anyways. Um, when the car is driving, it kind of, uh, chokes and even though it's showing that it has gas it does have gas but it's not a it's not accurate all right so now the car is on a flat surface so let's see let's see if it's start now look how the gas needle goes down as i crank the car that's not normal All right, so I got the key turned all the way inside. I unplugged the negative cable here. And as I touch it, I should hear the, I should hear the injectors um, spraying gas. So here I go. I hear the pump trying to pump, but I don't hear no gas coming in here. Yeah, that's not happening. Do it again. Yeah, I don't hear any gas coming in the engine. Hmm. Sound like a fuel pump. Fuel pump clog up or filter clog up or fuel pump is leaking back out. All right, let's continue on this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open this filter. The A millimeter. spray some uh, starting fluid starting fluid right in the right in the hole right there right there now I'm gonna try to start it if this thing start we got a fuel pump problem Got a fuel pump problem, so we got to replace the fuel pump. We have to start it up again. new fuel pump all right I uh, forgot to mention whenever you do using this stuff on any car do not step on the gas because that thing is gonna blow in your face so do not step on the gas even though if the car start stay away from the gas pedal please so let me uh, let me go ahead and buy a new pump and uh, we do it Well, believe it or not, I was able to start it with a starting fluid. Now I'm gonna park it where I need it to be so I can put the new fuel pump in. 
so the fuel pump is not priming once the car is running then it worked enough to keep the car running but it will not prime it will not prime enough gas to start the car so let me go ahead and park this all right so before you well before you get to this pump you gotta take a 10 millimeter um, not right there 10 millimeter and then three fillet on the top of this cover and before you start working on that pump make sure you clean clean all this stuff so that's what I'm, I'm about to do right now I'm gonna vacuum everything inside here and clean so now you you press on this tab and then you pull the line out Let's see if I can do it with one hand okay there you go it's no problem it's gonna leak a little bit so now uh, and before you do all this make sure you unplug your battery uh, the negative cable so I'm gonna get some rack and dry all that out just put some rack I will dry everything So now that we got the rack in, I'm gonna just get this little container here and transfer everything here. Um, so now this should come off by hand. If it, if it's too hot, hard, then you get like a, a plastic or a piece of wood and try to tap it here. And if you do it with a screwdriver, make sure you wrap the end of it on a rag. You don't want to make no spark. So here. Oh, there you go. So remember, there's going to be electrical here under this cover. This cover right here. So you're going to just press on this tab and unplug it. Then you press the two little tab here and you unplug the line. Like I said before, before you do all this, you gotta unplug your negative cable. There you go. I'm just gonna dump that over here. Now, uh, make sure you save this clip because you're gonna need it for uh, for the new one. Uh, I'll get it off later, but let's take the pump out. Okay, so from the beginning here, I can see this thing is not even, it wasn't even hooked up. This thing wasn't even hooked up together. Also, I see a wire that is uh, a wire that is straight. Take your time when you're doing this. Oops. 
Here's the pump. So this thing, this thing wasn't even hooked up over here. And I see a wire here, but it's that might be another problem there. Why this thing wasn't working. You see the red wire? That thing is stripped. That might be one of the problems. And this thing wasn't, it wasn't even hooked up right. Uh, yeah, so how can I say that? Now, those hook. Those hooked, they were not even hooked up. And, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to look more into this, but I'm going to see if the, those are the one that sucked the gas or those are the return. Because they were not hooked up. Everything inside there looked good, looked clean. power I guess we got some build up pressure all right let me look into that let me check that out real good and see if we really gonna need a fuel pump or this one is just defective and we can fix it All right, so here we got the new fuel pump. There is the old one. So we're gonna drop the new one in and see how it goes. All right, so old pump. There we have the new pump. So now it's time to connect the battery and start it up. All right, moving on through. So I just connect the battery. Now we're gonna cycle the key. So we're gonna cycle the key at least three times. That's one, two, let's do one more. One more. Sure, it's not leaking or anything. I'll do one more. Okay, all right. So now, time to crank it up. Oh yeah! That's the fix right there. Fuel pump. Fuel pump. up now we just gotta put some gas and we should be good to go I think something wrong with the new fuel pump or the level the the float yeah I'm probably gonna have to pop it back out because the gas level that should be off 
I remember this thing how it had three quarter of gas, three quarter tank of gas. Well, I took the fuel pump out and I think the other fuel pump was reading wrong. So I put everything back in. I'm on my way to the gas station right now. And we're gonna find out if the other pump was reading bad because according to the old fuel pump, it was showing three quarter of gas. And this one is showing empty. And the tank is not full. So three quarter, the tank should be full. It should be full all the way like to the very top. And it wasn't. So I think this one is actually really good. So I might just go to the gas station, pump some gas, um, at least $5. I mean, this is a customer car, so. I'm not gonna put all my money in it. Alright, um, yeah, gas station is right here around the corner, so I'm almost there. Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start pumping. Alright, so it's pumping. So I'm gonna put the key on. And see if the needle is going to go up. It's not going up. Oh, well, I put ten dollar gas. I put ten dollar gas. So, yep, the needle went. The needle went up. The needle went up, so we're good. Yeah, that thing wasn't empty. I mean, it was empty. It wasn't full. I mean, that's what I want to say. So, yeah, I put $10. And it went up, so it was completely empty. You know what? I'm just gonna fill this thing up all the way. So I'm gonna just let it run to the max. That way I can check for sure that it's gonna go all the way to the full position. So there goes another $10. Yep, so definitely, definitely was empty because normally this car, they only take like 25, I think $30 maximum. $25 right now, 26 yep, there you go, so now it's full, so $10 that I put plus 16, that make it, 26, 27 bucks right there, there you go, $27, so I know for sure now this thing is full, I know now it's full to the max, I'm gonna find out, on a receipt, yes, all right so now we should have a full tank of gas yes right there to the max so that other fuel pump was showing that we had three quarter tank of gas man we got it now. Thanks God. And it's starting right up. You saw that? No more long cranking. See, watch. Ready? See, start right up. So there you go, guys. If you have long cranking on your Honda, Honda Civic, Honda Core, now you know what to look for. It's gonna be your fuel pump. Alright, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.